So today we are going to use this climate change knowledge portal in order to download a set of data for climate change. So in order to get this website, you can simply type on your browser climate change knowledge portal or you can simply click on the link under the description below. So we are going to use this website in order to download a variety of data. So there is two ways to download this data. The first one is to search by country and the second one to using this link download data. So we are going to use the first one which is by country. Just scroll down until you find country and click on explore by country. You will be redirected to this web map where you can choose your country. For me I will go for, for the sake of this example with Switzerland and I will be redirected to this web page where you can find climate change overview of your country, country summary, we'll click on it. So here you will find climate change overview and then some general data for your country like for example the monthly average minimum surface air temperature which you can download by clicking on this button and you have multiple options you can go with a csv file click on click on it navigate to where you want to save it and then click on save at the end of the download you will get this csv file double click on it in order to open it and here we go you got now your average mean surface air temperature you can use it in any kind of study that you want you should just include the source of your data now i will get back and continue with exploring this website you can also download the average mean surface air temperature but also other data like for example precipitation in the time period from 1981 to 2020 and you can of course download this data by again clicking on this button and then choosing the file that you want now you can also download other set of data like for example current current cl climate and here you have other data about climatology again you will find the variable and time period here you can for example choose anything you want for example precipitation and you can specify the time period that you want and if you scroll down you will get the observed annual precipitation of switzerland from the time for the time period you will get this graph and you have also the possibility to download this graph by clicking on this button you can get the data of this graph as a csv for example click on it specify where you want to save it and then click on save again get back to your working folder and you will find your data like this for example you have the year and the annual mean of your precipitation with the five years moved you can use this data in order to make a graph just like this graph you can also download this graph as an image let's go for example with a png image click on it and choose your file folder click on save and you will get your graph just like this i highly recommend you to go and check this website it has some interesting data sets and it's free so i hope that you got some useful information from this short tutorial so please like it and subscribe if you want to get more tutorials